Okay, getting ready to do cut out the subfloor to relocate the plumbing lines for the new standalone soaking tub. The old drop-in tub had its drain in this area over here. The soaking tub is going to have its drain over in here. The supply lines need to be cut and moved over here as the uh, filler for the uh, new soaking tub is going to be over in this area. What I'm going to end up doing is cutting some out of the middle in order to cut these supply lines lower to finish cutting the entire area that I need to have uh, removed. This is the new tub that we'll be installing. The new floor tile for the bathroom is going to be a medium to dark gray mottled tile to contrast with the white soaking tub. And here's the tub filler that will be going in. So in a little bit here I'll be installing this uh, game changer as far as I'm concerned for installing standalone soaking tubs. It's a jacuzzi quick connect and what you do is you install it into the subfloor, get your plumbing all connected and get your subfloor all installed and after that you do not need access underneath the tub in order to, to get your tub installed. What you do is uh, put this extension on your uh, tub and lower the tub down into the uh, quick connect. You pop that cap off and just lower it down into the uh, quick connect. It's got a, uh, a rubber seal that makes a uh, tight uh, connection. The old tub had its P-trap and drain over here so I'll be cutting that uh, drain line off right there and capping it. The new standalone tub drain is going to be over in here so I'll be rerouting that through the hole and over to here with the uh, T-splice to go drain that way and leave this line over here for the uh, vent. The reason for the two eye joists here is it's a, they did a good thing when they cut this one. They thought they were going to have to have room over here. It looks like they miscalculated uh, the drain. They needed to cut the top of the eye joist over on that side. They cut here and it wasn't necessary, but they did splice that one out. And the main weight of the tub is going to be between this joist over here and that joist so that's not that important it's a good thing they splice that one out and the supply lines this line is going to have to be elbowed and cut through both those uh, joists and the other supply line is already over here and what i'll be doing is putting in some shutoff valves and then a threaded coupling on the end of the uh, copper to go up to the flex lines for the new uh, tub filler which is going to over be in this area over here. Another thing I'll be doing is putting air chambers in over here on the uh, half inch copper supply lines. Um, I'm going to be putting in an access door in this area right in here which is open to the uh, utility room down below so I don't uh, worry about putting in shark bites. My shutoff valves are going to be shark bites and I'll always have access to them. Uh, I don't uh, think too much about putting them in somewhere I don't have access to, but uh, I will have access to all this uh, when we get done. Although I did get the uh, drain line all fitted up and mostly glued, I left three joints unglued so I could get it out of the way to uh, work on all the uh, supply lines underneath.
Okay, I've got the majority of the uh, water supply lines rerouted, completed to this point. I uh, capped it off with shark bite push-on connections, which are reu reusable. You can pull them off, put them back on. And uh, the only thing left to do, once we get the uh, subfloor reinstalled and all the tile on, and when it comes time to put the filler, tub filler, in, in this area right in here, what I'll do is come back from this access door in the utility room, take the caps off, put the valves on, and then extend it out to this threaded connector uh, so I can connect it to the flex uh, tube uh, that goes up to the filler. So that's the nice thing about these shark bite connectors. They're easy to install, just push them on, you can pull them off, reuse them, uh, especially if you're gonna be trying to solder in tight uh, areas. I had to use them down here uh, for these T connectors for these air chambers. I tried to solder a regular copper T and this happens to be the low point horizontal run in our bathroom upstairs here. And the water just continually flowed into the T making it almost impossible to get soldered. And like I said all these shark bite connectors are going to be accessible through this access door. I'd be a little leery if I couldn't get to them. I don't know how they're going to hold up long term. I suspect they'll be alright, but I just wanted to be careful. Okay, got the drain line all glued up. I was fortunate that uh, the uh, P-trap lined right up with the wall underneath there, the top plate of that wall. I want to have some sort of support when the uh, subfloor is reinstalled and I push this down over that, I want to have uh, some support underneath it. I was real careful to get this measurement exactly right um, in order to install this quick connect when the subfloor is uh, reinstalled. The quick connect comes with a template where the hole goes once your subfloor is reinstalled and the measurement was three inches which is this measurement from here to here it seats up into there so that measurement is three inches and that comes out exactly right when that uh, it's time to put that uh, quick connect in if you saw our video for shower drain relocation in our bathroom remodel playlist this picture shows how we had to use joist hangers for replacing the subfloor after rerouting the drain line. The reason for that was we had to reinforce the floor to support the 3 inch by 4 foot long slot that had to be cut in the floor for the linear drain to drop into. The subfloor replacement for the tub area here was much easier than the shower subfloor replacement. We just attached some scrap 2x4s with screws under the seams between the joists. This basically provides the same support that you would normally have between joists for your tongue and groove subflooring, and a whole lot easier than installing joist hangers. So that'll do it for rerouting the plumbing for the standalone soaking tub. Check back later on our bathroom remodel playlist after the tile installation to see the tub lowered into the quick connect drain and the tub filler faucet installation. Also take a look at the rest of the bathroom remodel videos on our bathroom remodel playlist as we're really starting to make some progress now. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see the entire bathroom remodel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.